And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Poros. Give it all our second deck that we are going to be playing for the seasonal tournament next week. So we're going to get a little bit of practice in on this rank up Sunday. We're going to play five games in ranked now. Um, we're probably playing the Terror Draven, playing this deck. That's two that I'm pretty sure I'm playing. And then I'm not sure with the uh, third deck, these uh, two options I'm thinking about are the Frostbite Midrange and Shivana Lux. We'll kind of see how those go today. But wanted to get some extra practice in for that tournament next Sunday. Um, so yeah, so this this one is just a, a fun deck to play because it's Poros. And people aren't necessarily expecting a whole lot of, of the Poros. And I think that we can surprise a lot of opponents here. Because <clears throat> they may not really be expecting um, suddenly, like, give it all, and then suddenly all of our Poros being very big and elusive and things like that. Elusive Poros are definitely going to be very important. We got all the Poro Cannons, Daring Poros, the Patch Poro Bot, which can have elusive sometimes. It's definitely going to be a, a very important aspect to our deck. You have Vi in here. The, Vi and Braum are both challengers, but Vi can be have a whole lot of power um, and... Uh, increase the power of all of our Poros by a whole lot with the give it all. And you know, Braum's just a good blocker, makes Mighty Poros, just a good card. So let's give this one a try. Let's go play our five games and get some good practice in here with the Poros give it all. Okay, playing against the Fearsome. I just kind of need more practice against all these different Fearsome decks, just in general. They've started to be very popular. So I. I don't really mind getting paired against it to try to get that practice in. Let's get rid of this one. I want to keep the Lonely Boro. Okay, Aurora Porealis. That card's good. We do need Poro Snacks. So as you can see, we are going to be struggling blocking a Fearsome. Shield. There you go, Breeze. You got enough points for a donation deck. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. <clears throat> Passing because I wanted to have two mana for Thermogenic Beam for like a Mist Wraith. I would have liked to play the Poro Fly first, but oh well. <clears throat> Wraith Caller. Is it the boosters? Who knows? My shield is we should be friends. It is easy, see? Man. We're getting by. One girl wrecking crew. Give it all we can play on turn seven, so that means we need to save one mana. You are safe with Brom. Tell it to the fists. Could be vile feast to kill Brom, I hope not, but <clears throat> sure, Mark of the Isles. Mark of the Isles is better for me because he like uh, kills their Wraith Caller. It's just, will they go to open attack? Like, will they open attack? Not sure. Here's the fun part. Trouble coming at ya. All right, I'm gonna see if I need to use Troll Chan or not. It looks like not. <clears throat> Play this first. Quick attack. No, it's no shield. All 
right, so. <clears throat> I hope we get priority first when we get to cast this give it all. Make them all 9 3. I guess 10. Yeah, never mind, 10. 10 3, Overwhelm, Tough, Challenge, Elusive, Spell Shield. That'd be pretty good. Oh, yeah. You give it all a sweet. <laughs> Nobody expects the give it all. Just got a nice 60 power in play. <laughs> Boro snacks. <laughs> All right, GG's. That's pretty awesome. And that's a knockout. All right, another fearsome deck. That one went very well for us. Um, I'll be surprised if this one goes as well. Okay, let's see. So we're going to have that... Okay, this isn't looking very good. Kept one, gave it all, grabbed, drew another one. There's nothing to fear. Okay, important thermogenic beam. I definitely wish I would have mulliganed these two cards with you know, what we've drawn and everything. We shall pierce their treasonous us. Need a Poro. Okay. Brom's cool. Brom's not a Poro yet. Dang, what a hand. 15 damage on turn 4 that, that I can't even block. Control champ, but it doesn't really make that much sense to, I don't think. I'm doing this my way. Justice first hand! Eat this! Yeah, that's very good too. We, we shall return. I'll be very surprised if we win this game. I don't really, <laughs> yeah, I don't, don't really know if we can anymore. <laughs> it's an insane hand. All right, well they had the perfect. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, this will be a good match. So let's get some Poro snacks. Okay, okay. I like the Poro cannon. I don't know. I kind of like, I like. I mean, I like all these cards, but I guess we're gonna mulligan to give it all. Maybe I, sh maybe I shouldn't be necessarily keeping like these little one ones as much. Basically, thinking that like the, right, like this lonely Poro makes another Poro, and then I was planning on discarding that other Poro to the Poro Cannon. So that's how we get our two um, little elusives. Oh, 
But without but without a Poro Snacks, maybe I shouldn't be keeping all these. Maybe I should just mulligan Poros more, looking for the snacks. This is tough having the two mana like this because the two mana doesn't. I don't know, it's difficult to kill both Draven and Ezreal. Oh, is he gonna block and then have Mystic Shant? That was kind of my thinking there. I didn't want to play the other Daring Poro and then because they had the four mana turn on Static Shock. One girl wrecking crew. So this will allow me to still Thermogenic Beam. <clears throat> there, Ezreal. All right, we're pretty evened up. It's Draven time. How can Brom help? Let's boogie. Let's do this. Help is on the way. Okay. I'm just gonna pass. Oh, nine. If I pass, I have nine mana next turn, so I have enough for Aurora Borealis plus uh, Poro Snacks. Got yeah, fearsome. I like spell shield. But of course that's gonna change, that portal bot's gonna change, but I like the spell shield. As far as give it all is concerned. Tough and scout. We already have the tough. Take a scout. I really hoping they would be kind of more scared of attacking than what they are. Maybe I can't go to seven. Okay, so we'll see what we get. Um, hopefully we get something besides tough. You know, hopefully, hopefully a good keyword. And then we're gonna be, so like next turn we have Portal Bot and Give It All. Okay, so mine won't have Elusive. I really want to get rid of that. Lifesteal is cool. So if they have no removal, which is very unlikely, but if they don't, we're looking at 5-5, five, five, Overwhelm, Tough, Lifesteal, Scouts. Okay, they don't have removal. <clears throat> well, that seems pretty nice. This is going to be a lot of attacking. The sunfrock got me good. 
All right, we get to attack again. We have scouts. If only we could go over 20, <laughs> right? Like this is healing our Nexus for 20 right now, then we'll heal it for... Um, heal for 15 with the second attack. Draven out. Go down to 9. So they have to block with both. Oh, right, they're Overwhelm anyway. So, yeah, they're just dead. Right, Overwhelm. I forgot about the Overwhelm part. <laughs> Sweet. Poros give it all. Two and one. Okay, Draven Jinx. Land V some aggro. But I like this aggro deck better because, I don't know, the Fearsomes get through my little Poros a lot, bet a lot easier. Um... I'm just gonna keep. I think I'll keep the troll chant. So I, I like having the lonely Poro into Poro Herder and then Thermogenic Beam that you know on turn three that can kill Draven. Ooh, love it. Poro Snacks also good. Gives me some good options. I have my orders. Plunder Poro with the two keywords. <laughs> it could be awesome with Give It All. But it's not easy to turn on Plunder Poro, of course. If I do cast, this is going to be kind of, this is going to be a difficult decision. So if I do cast Plunder Poro, like let's say they play Draven. Yeah, like I need to Thermogenic Beam that Draven, but I also want to play this Plunder Poro right now. So this is a difficult decision. Quick Attack Spell Shield. Follow along, little ones. Well, they could go immediately to attack, so I'm not really expecting that. Okay, right I did. So I take three. Overwhelm. Take All right, two rummage down. Tough, elusive. Let's play the elusive. Rules are made to be broken, like buildings. But people, you should try blinking sometime. I'm for talking. This is fun, yes. <clears throat> so I can use troll chant. Problem, of course, with Troll Chant is don't get to Thermogenic Beam the Jinx. If I do that, think strong. Yeah, I think I have to kill the Jinx. I'm just gonna let that happen. Even though they're they're gonna have these elusives, I'll have my other daring Poro. I'll be able to play. I think I, I think I got to kill Jinx. Got me. Yeah. It is easy. See? I think that's too important. Joker. 
Okay. Help is on the way. You block there. They don't have any mana. You've gone and spoke. So I'm going down to ten. But we kill Draven. But you know, they still have the crowd favorite. Six out of ten. Scout. That's a good card. Here comes the punchline. I wish I would have blocked had Scrap Scuttler and poor you know, I kinda wish I would have blocked over there. What's the worst that could happen? What science without a little risk? Okay, so now I can play the scout. So I do, I kind of want to challenge the crowd favorite. Let's show our friends the door. Show me your best. So I kind of want to just kill that crowd favorite right now. I don't need a plan. Trouble coming at ya. No, I'll just kill this thing. They're probably playing something before attacking. That'd be my guess. Probably. Maybe not. Could block with Braum to only take uh, two damage. Ooh, okay. I stand for Nazis. All right, let's let's give it all. They're gonna be quick attack and scout. And regeneration, tough. <laughs> I basically have to make sure I don't die to a couple of, like, uh, the, the three damage, you know, like Mystic Shot plus, like I have to make sure that I'm, I stay at six health or more. You know, I don't wanna die to Mystic Shot plus get excited. Do they need our help? <laughs> Toxian Spring! Okay. What have horrors done to you? Stand behind Drop! I guess we can have. Huh, that's a lot of keywords. Because we can have you go over there. Come on. Um. You are safe with Brom. There we go. Level the Brom. Go to eight. Give it all is so silly. Man, and these have. I kind of wish they like didn't just throw away their whole board. I kind of wish the deck could attack. Okay, cool. Because quick attack, challenger, scouts. That's pretty awesome. I guess they're elusive too, so I really don't need to be challenging, but I want to. Because I get another attack. <laughs> there we go, GG's. Dude, give it all is just crazy, man. This deck's playing Hush. I don't like that. And Tom Kench also can just eat up my stuff. I don't like that either. So let's see. Elusive is also very important. I kind of like all this stuff. 
Yeah, I'll keep it. No, I think the the decks that I'm gonna be banning are either gonna be the Targon deck with all the um, invoke cards and stuff like that, or Fearsome deck. Those are the two decks I think I'm the most scared of right now. Fearsome, Lifesteal. Fearsome's pretty good, I guess. No, I'm just gonna attack. Holding on to the spell mana. What do we got now? Regeneration, spell shield. They want to pass back over to me. Um, I mean, I'd rather have Fearsome than either of those. I don't know, I don't love either of these, but I want, I want to spend mana, I want to play one of them. So it's, which one would I rather play in? I don't know, I guess spell shield. I guess. Two, three regeneration doesn't seem to matter too much. Man, I wish I would have had Scout. I would have rather played Scout. Our mountain groves are full of dangers, but I know them all. No. Yeah. Already had Spell Shield. I got another Spell Shield, I guess. I'll protect you. More spell shield. Challenger. So I have ten cards in hand, so they're passing over to me, so I do something first. Vi stands for vicious. Show courage. So we can make a, a big heart of the fluffed with elusive and spell shield. Something we can do. All right, what do we have? Fearsome, life steal. Yeah, right now they have just tons and tons of spells. So it should be a bunch of like pale cascades and hushes and things like that. Awesome. I'm glad about that because I like getting a hush out of their hand. So that's why I am glad about that. And no, I'm not I won't be killing their their thing right here. I mean I I guess I could try more with the vault breaker, but no, I'll just I'll just do that. So they, they'll be able to bash in my Thermogenic Beam if they would, you know, that's probably a card that they have. Um, but that's probably a good trade, a question mark? But maybe not, maybe I just... No, maybe not. They could also have the Astral Protection, so... I wouldn't really want to do that against Astral Protection. Everyone here, let's go! So they basically have to have two more hushes. That's that can't be that likely, right? What do you have? Overwhelm? Because I can make this Heart of the Fluff 20 power very easily. And it's gonna be 20 power with spell shield. So they, they don't have anything like what else do they have in their deck that targets my thing to blow up spell shield? I think it's just hush, right? So like they have to have hush hush. Which, so they've played one hush. Oh yeah, they have the one mana spell that uh, gives things vulnerable. Forgot about that. Yeah, that card's good. Okay, so they could have that plus hush. Hmm. All right, so maybe that's not as good as just going wide. Probably just Astral Protection. I would love for them to play another Hush. 
Please waste a hush. Yes. Love it. Okay. All right, we're going. We're going all in with the heart of the fluff this next turn. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna have eight, nine. I need nine, man. I, I'm not gonna throw my giant beam this this thing. And... I'll protect you. Go get him, Heart of the Fluffed. All right, 33, 36. Fearsome, Overwhelm, Elusive with Spell Shield. Let's go. The Fluffed of the Poros. They've already wasted two Hush. Let's get them. Fluffed of the Poros. Or Fluffed of Poros. Look at all those Poros together. Being all fluffy. Boom. Let's go. Four and one. Poros are strong, man. Poros are good. All right, so there we go. That's Poros give it all. Every single one of those wins is pretty awesome. We actually got, you know, so we got that last win without give it all. We had the um, heart of the fluffed with our fluffed of Poros, that was pretty sweet. Um, just a really fun deck to play because, you know, it is Poros and everything, but still really strong. We see another 4-1 here in Master's Rank. And uh, just a deck that people aren't really necessarily expecting. So yeah, this, was, this will definitely be one of my two decks. So, you know, like we're planning on Taric Draven and Poros give it all for two of our decks. Um, I could end up playing Draven Fizz, I guess, instead of Taric Draven. If you know, like we've been like we played the Fizz deck yesterday, and that looked pretty good. Um, I guess if if we do decide like that, that one's still kind of a toss up. So it, I'm definitely playing this Poros Give It All. May go Draven Fizz and play some Fizz instead of Taric Draven. I'm not sure that one's that one's close. And then we'll figure out what our third deck's going to be. Let's we'll have some practice with two other. Um, decks we're thinking about here with Midrange Frostbite and Shivana Lux. Um, but of course, we can't we can't do both of the Draven's decks, right? I can't play uh, Taric Draven and Draven Fizz. So um, you know, we can only play one Draven deck. So it'll be one of those two. Uh, but anything about this, I mean, nothing really to change about this deck. This deck's pretty fun to play. You know, like it's, it's good. I think it's good where it is. So nothing really to change here. Um, yeah, we'll just keep it like this. All right, but anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments. If you've been playing this Poros Give It All deck, let me know and let me know how it's going for you and how you like it and all that kind of stuff. Love to see those comments. All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you for the next video.